Everybody and welcome to a brand new installment of What You're Playing Next. And in today's episode, I will be talking about No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a science fiction game about space exploration and survival. And I know you guys probably don't know this, but I'm real big into the survival games at this current time. And the minute I heard that there was a space survival game, I jumped on that bandwagon hard. So this game is actually in development by Hello Games, which is just a tiny indie studio. It is an infinitely procedurally generated galaxy, and if you don't know what that means, because I sure didn't, I went ahead and went to my friend Google, which led me to my friend Wikipedia, and their definition is, it is used to create large amounts of content in a game. Advantages of procedural generation include small file size, large amounts of content, and randomness for less predictable gameplay. So basically, the world of No Man's Sky is going to constantly be generating as you play. Which sounds pretty awesome if you ask me. In No Man's Sky, there isn't really an overall story like in Rift or World of Warcraft. The player will create their own story depending on where they explore and what creatures they interact with. This is a survival game like I said, so you will need to think and prepare before you go out and explore. And every star you see within the sky is a planet you can explore. So when you are on the surface of a planet that you are currently exploring, if you look up and see all those stars, each one of them is a whole new world that you can interact with. Um, one thing that you do need to be careful of is if you are exploring and you have like a GTA fetish and you just want to go around shooting everything, there is a threat level 1 through 5, so you'll just need to chill on the rampage. Alright, so now we've gotten to my favorite part of this video where I talk about why on earth I am so, so, so interested in playing No Man's Sky. So one thing that's so interesting about it is not only is it a survival game, but it's a survival game in space! How awesome is that? And I'm kind of hoping that it saves my sadness from when I played Destiny because I thought it was one thing and it's totally something else. And I've only played the game for about two hours and I stopped because it just wasn't for me. Another thing that's pretty cool is that you must learn alien languages in order to communicate and be able to trade with those uh, different species. So like basically, you know, if you were a little nerdy little kid like I was, and you watch anime fan subs, you'd pick up on particular words because you watched them so much and you saw what they were talking about. So that's basically how you learn different languages, which makes perfect sense. Although this is a multiplayer game, technically it's more singular than multiplayer. And the reason for that is because the world is so vast that it'll probably be several months before you run into another player. Heck, you might never run into another player. Uh, the devs wanted to focus on the exploration, which is phenomenal, because I've seen what these worlds look like. You guys are seeing them now. Don't lie to yourselves, they're beautiful. My favorite part is that there's no traditional PvP. Woo! Basically what that means is you can decide to punch somebody in the face, but it's gonna be an NPC character as opposed to like another a player like you won't actually be able to like initiate like arena battles or something like that you can choose to fight or you can choose to run the heck away so no man's sky is to be retailed at 59.99 coming out both august 9th and august 12th august 9th is for the playstation 4 version and august 12th is for the pc gaming world um, i'm really stoked about it but one thing that i am really concerned about is just that now I've read all this information and then I get the game and I get into it and it just doesn't live up to the hype that I have found. And that has happened a lot, but I know there are several people out there who are going to play it. So I'm really hoping that it does live up to all the expectations that we have and it doesn't just come crumbling around us. So hopefully I've sparked your interest in No Man's Sky. I mean, if you like survival games and you like space and you like exploration, this game is probably for you you should definitely, definitely do some research and look into it. I mean, it is $59.99, so uh, it's kind of, kind of expensive, but not too bad. It's your typical game. But, ladies and gentlemen, I am done talking your ear off, and I will just check you in the next video. See ya!